Halt! Before we continue this epic leveling, make sure to check if you sub to the channel and make sure to like the video, guys. Thank you. Wow! Look at me, having a little lunch here. Sitting on the nice plains of Nagrand, eating my lunch on my druid. Level 67, ready to blast, guys. I actually think uh, at level 68, we, since we are a druid, we can cheat the system and we can get flying mount early. So, uh, you know, we, we need to get some stuff done here, guys. We need to hit level 68. We got some elite quests to conquer and we got some stuff to attain, right? Pre-patch is literally right around the corner. I feel like I say this every day, but it is. So uh, leveling, you know, must uh, be enhanced. I do plan on doing some raids in the Boomkin, guys, once we get at max level. We're going to definitely do some raids and uh, guys... It's gonna be sick, trust me. All right, it's gonna be very, very good. All right, but for that, we need to get some stuff done, right? Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention, I, I should probably mention this a little bit more. We currently have a competition on the Reddit, on the Gusu Reddit, where you guys can post, it, it, it could be like a stream meme, a wow meme, like generally speaking, just wow memes, okay, on the Gusu Reddit. And I will go through the Reddit together with Savix on Wednesday the 31st and we will choose the best meme that we can find on the Reddit and gift you a Dragonflight copy. So if you haven't uh, checked out the Reddit, make sure you check out the Reddit guys. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash Gusu. Post your favorite WoW meme and you may be in the competition of winning a Dragonflight copy guys. I mean, you will be. As long as it's a good meme, then it's it, it can be, you can, you can win it, right? It can be like a, I mean, it could be a video, it could be like a, a GIF. It could be anything really, right? As long as it's a funny meme, we'll, uh, we'll give it a whirl. So yeah, make sure you guys enter the competition if you have something funny and uh, we'll look at it for sure. We'll go through with it with Savix. We'll record a little video for it and uh, there's gonna be a little giveaway. Uh, what do we need to do here? Use the damn wooden blanket in your bags at the funeral pyre. Oh yeah, I remember. Over here, over hither. Making a smoke signal. Okay, we'll do that. One sec. Boop. Oh, should we need to keep pushing these here? Dude, my boys are relentless, man. They just keep blasting. God damn, we'll see how it goes. Uh, can it be a Gusu short meme? Uh, it could. Yeah, it, it could also be... Uh, I feel like the general idea for it, uh, it, it could either be like a meme about me or the community or it, uh, or so a WoW-related stuff, right? Either of those two should be fine. And then we'll, we'll get together with Savix and we'll look at the memes and we're gonna find which one is the best. And then we'll give you a Dragonflight copy. Okay, so now we need to slay all the, the boys that comes here. Oh, Raur. Me a Shadow Council, Makishun. Why? Did he just Raur? <laughs> Wait, what? Did I just read that correctly? I guess I did. Okay, he's rowering, man. That's, uh, I mean, I've never seen that before, but the more you know. Okay, we got it. Kill Sorrow ba Body's plant, nice. So we just need some banners, and then we need to do the, the big boy, and then we're chilling. Nice. Okay, there's like a big boss up here we gotta slay too, guys. Sorob the Advisor is called. It's crazy to me how fast, like, time has gone, man. Like, we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get Wrath within, like, a month, man. Pre-patch is, like, basically releasing. Wrath is gonna come out. Damn, I'm still very curious to see what's gonna happen after the whole, uh, the whole Wrath thing, right? Are we gonna go back to Vanilla? Or are we gonna make Vanilla Plus, like, Classic Plus or a Wrath Plus? Is it gonna be Kata Plus or, like, Kata Classic? I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting time, I guess, being a, uh, a WoW player, I suppose, right? A lot of people actually are very excited about Cataclysm. For me personally, I don't really know that much about Cataclysm because I quit uh, very early on into Kata. I, I did like the, the first raid tier. I can't even remember what the first raid tier is, but I did that and then I quit after like a month or two, right? That's basically it. I think a lot of people quit in Cataclysm. Cat, cat, cataclysm? Cataclysm? <laughs> cataclysm. Because that, that's where like it also like very drastically changed. It, that wasn't really the reason for me uh, quitting though. It, it, it's kind of, I know this comes as a surprise to a lot of people, but I actually quit. I had like a period of my life where I quit like video games completely. I like cold turkey quit all video games. And I didn't play anything for like a few years, man. And then uh, one day I got a text message from one of my friends and he said, <clears throat> Hey Guzu, wanna come back? Warlords of Draenor is gonna release and it's gonna be really good, man. Like back in the day, it's gonna be super fun, man. Trust me, we're all gonna come play again. All the all the boys are gonna come start playing. It's gonna be super fun. They all quit within a two weeks, man. Dude, within two weeks, literally every single one of my friends quit. And I had made a new character, okay? I had made a feral druid called Milky Way. I leveled it all the way to max level on VOD, and they all quit on me, man. And that's where it happened, man. I got back into WoW, and I started playing vanilla private servers. Which I don't do anymore, guys, okay? I'm a, I'm a good boy now, but uh, that's when it happened. 
Okay, we got this, so we just need four more reavers, and then we go to this guy here. Easy clap. Okay, we gotta go slay God Reaver, guys. Trust me, I am a professional boomkin, guys. We don't need no help. I am a good gamer, and I can get this done solo. Muad, stop with... <laughs> This guy, man, he has... I don't even know how much he's paid me back anymore at this point. He's paying me back in 69 silver at a time on a $500 loan. Uh, gold loan. 500 gold loan. Okay, I think Booba found him. Uh, wait, I, th I think Muad found him. But it should come around over here, right? Oh, God River, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Boomkin Blastage. Uh, okay, we pop all cooldowns. And we absolutely pump. Bird versus bird. Okay, get my boys out. Get my boys out. Pop this as well. Pop this. Heal up. Oh, this guy wants the mob as well. L listen about this guy. Oh, actually, uh, he's level 70. All right, just let it be known that I didn't need the elf, okay? I, I, that's basically a solo, guys. Let's be honest here. Oh, he actually did need it. Oh, GG's. Okay, not bad. Uh, very, very good. We got it done. Uh, let's go turn in the quest. All right, let's turn this in. What brings you here? Uh, ooh, that's not bad, but mine is still better. Okay, and now we got the final quest. Yeah, the ultimate blood sport. Okay, cool. Uh, let's turn in some quests first, though. Turn this in here. Easy clap. Hearth back to Garador, as I will. And we can turn in some more quests here. We're almost done with this zone, actually. I... Oh, did that really just happen? Dude, I... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? That's the worst, man. Okay, let's hearth back. Uh, okay, Garrosh. Dude, this guy is actually just like, Garrosh kicks the crate aside. You waste your time, Torin. Take whatever you desire from the crate. I nor Garador have any need for those useless trinkets. Like, we went down to this guy, helped him out, and he's like, Oh, dude, bring this awesome stuff over to Garrosh. And he can have it as like a token of gratitude. And he literally just kicks away the crate and says he doesn't give a- he, he doesn't care. Literally, what is this guy, man? Actually, like, what the hell? It's crazy. All right, let's turn this in too. Here you go, mate. Uh, actually, I would like to, uh, in terms of uh, this zone, we are actually kind of done right now. But I would still like to do Dern the Ongerer and uh, Toskar. And then maybe there's also like a guy in here called... Uh, um, what, what is he called? Gurok Chowar. There's a few different ones we can do here. So I think we'll just do all the, uh, the group quests here and we'll probably ding from these, right? Yeah, so we'll do Ultimate Bloods to Board, we'll do Dirty Ongerer, Gurog, and Chowar. And from those, we should ding. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Onward, gamers! Do we need some skulls here from this guy? How many skulls do we need to su uh, summon this boy? Find Chowar deep in the cave. Oh, that's not the one. Gurog. Put a skull from a Walmart Ogres on Gurog's hidden brand. Oh! I, I already have those skulls! Wait, we're actually gaming! Mamma mia! Okay, wait. Dude, Jesus. Okay. Blasting. Sacrifice me. Mood, we don't have to sacrifice anyone. Okay, Muad, whatever you want to do, you can do, right? Let's summon Gurok here. Summoning the big boy, Gurok. And there's a big boy that comes. Hold. Well, that, that is a big boy. Jesus! Okay. Pop this here, too. Alright, this is all me, by the way, guys. Okay, all me. All, that's me. This is completely me. Oh, God. Okay, let's go to the next one. Cho War. Okay, guys. I am gonna respectfully ask that y'all do not help, okay? Because this boss in here, I have tried to solo on my other characters, okay? And I have had some issues with it on the other ones, but I, if I recall correctly, I managed to do it on Badouche, okay? And I would like to see if I can do this on Guzmu too, because Badouche managed to do it. And if Badouche can, then Guzmu can as well, okay? So this is gonna be Cho War the Pillager versus Guzmu, the greatest boomkin of all time. There he is, guys. Cho War the Pillager. More like Cho War the B word, right? We're gonna do this guy. Uh, we don't have Dash, though, which is very, very, very not good. But the thing is, guys, we don't need Dash. We are a goddamn god gamer. We pop all cooldowns in the beginning and just pump him out the wasu. We pop the boys, we jump down here and we keep blasting, okay? He can be rooted, he can be slowed. Go, 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 go. Big damage. We pop bar. Oh! Bar barkskin, barkskin for big damage. Okay, so we can pump through this. Nice. Okay, one more star fire. Actually, we can maybe just face tank him. Ah! Never mind, never mind. Wait out the mortal strike. Oh, wait, this is actually bad. Uh, okay, this is actually really bad. Uh, very, very bad. Okay. 
Okay, he's doing my boys. Oh god. Oh, wait, there's respawns! Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We heal, we heal. Oh god, oh god. It's fine, it's fine. We keep kiting, we keep kiting. He's a little bit slow. Keep him in combat with an occasional moonfire. We, he can't be stunned, guys. This guy is like a Kiki Chan. Pop down here, and then we jump. If if one more person tells me to root the boss, I will be very angry, guys. First of all, we can't root him at all. Second of all, we're inside, and root doesn't work inside, okay? Trust me, I am a uh, Moonfire Lord. Dude, this was actually so much easier on uh, Gusmu than on uh, Badoosh, man. <laughs> I struggled so much on Badoosh at this. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go! Damn! Okay, we got the head, guys. All right, we have two more quests, guys. We got the Dern the Ongerer and the Ultimate Bloodsport, okay? And then once we turn everything in, we're gonna ding. And we can get our flying mount. All right, let's turn this in. Uh, ooh, this cloak is an upgrade. Nice! Go forth to victory. Okay, let's go! All right, let's do the Ultimate Bloodsport first, then we can do Dern the Ongerer last. Mm, I actually don't think we need to kite this mob very much, because uh, our damage is gonna be very, very overwhelming on this one here, right? I think we can also root this mob, honestly. Pre Wait, it actually does it pretty hard. Oh, we got an under Elving. It's fine. Oh my god, I hit hard. Oh my god. Oh. This is a solo, by the way. Yeah, I soloed it. That's a solo. That's a confirmed solo. We did... Don't worry about it. That was definitely a solo. The fact of the matter is, guys, I could have soloed it, right? So we didn't really need the Elf. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all good. All right, let's do Dern the Ongerer, guys. We're probably gonna need some help for this one, though, if, if uh, I don't think we can solo that one. What the? Dude, are you like a mountain goat? What the? How do you? Jesus! Wait, these guys are like, they have the strongest legs in the world. They literally just went, go straight through the mountain. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Damn. Okay, guys, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna invite y'all so we can just do it as a group, okay? If you guys wanna help. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, gamers. Thank you guys for helping, by the way. You guys are actually MVPs. Thank you, guys. Okay. We got it. Nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it a lot, man. And now we can go ding level uh, 68, guys, and get our flying mount and stuff. Okay, uh, Gurok the Usurper. This is still not better than my Malastone. Okay. Nice. Next quest, we will ding. Vicky, uh, can I please request a... Thank you. See, guys, we don't need water form, man, okay? B Biggie is hooking us up. Why would you swim in the water and get wet when you can just walk on the water and not worry about it? Okay, level 68. Gamers, the ultimate blood sport. Let's go. I guess we'll take this for, just for the memes. We don't really need it, but yeah. Nice! Let's go! Not bad at all, actually. Okay, there's one more quest in Garadar, guys, and then we can go get our uh, our flying mount and stuff, and our, um, what is it called, our skills as well for level 68. Okay, turn this in here. That's a big one, dude. Look at this mace. Uh, nice! Okay, we're chilling, guys. We're good. Let's go to Moonglade and then get our flight form here. And we're gonna be a real druid for once. Starfire, Entangling Roots, Grass. And there it is, guys. Flight form. It is actually so unethical that Druids can get flight form at 68. It, it is like... Like, what is this, dude? H how? So unfair. We got it, though. Okay, not bad. Wait, I'm kind of stuck in Moonglade now. Because I don't have Archstone. Get summoned. The winds no, why did I... Uh, I thought it was a normal flight path. Uh... <laughs> I thought it was a normal flight path, dude. Oh my god. 